after sure. My favorite philosopher is Carlos Castaneda. And one of the quotes that really resonate with me is this one. What weakens us is feeling offended by the deeds and misdeeds of our fellow man. Our self-importance requires that we spend most of our lives offended by someone. And this plays out a lot on Facebook and social media. It's one of the reasons I've start, started disengaging um, and unfriending a lot of people because they're always offended by something or someone. And I, I don't know, that's just not helpful. I mean, I try and go to Facebook so that I can I don't know, be uplifted. Maybe it's just the way I'm built. But people will have a go at each other. They're offended at whatever. Trump, Obama, the Muslims, the Jews, Christians. Everybody seems to be offensive to everybody else. But it's really no point in being offended by other people. Because really this path that we're on, it's a journey within. We need to sort ourselves out. In fact, I'll take it that we probably have to mind our own business and rather just mind our business, which ultimately is getting to the end elegantly and eloquently. And if you look at Neil Donald Walsh, where he says that um, we're just an expression of the divine. The rest is nothing. And I kind of agree with that. Our path is a spiritual one. We have to get involved with everybody else and hammer them down. Because the challenge is that we don't know what that person is going through. We don't know what monkey sits on their back. So, as Isko Skadema loves saying, um, don't look at people with judgment look at them with curiosity so before we send off missives on facebook and twitter let's just pause a bit and see that the, there's another human being at the end of that tirade and that we can hurt them and very often what as, as you know i mean it's such an old saw from jung but what irritates you in the other is what you see in yourself so generally, most of the things that we send out there are projection. Shakespeare had it, the lady doth protest too much. People that protest the most about whatever issue are normally dealing with that issue in their own hearts and they're just projecting it out there. And now I'm starting to sound like a motivational speaker, which I'm certainly not, but hurt people hurt people. So whenever anyone has a go at me, and, and it's quite often, I just look at them with curiosity and I think, what's hurting them? And why are they trying to hurt me? You see, it's pointless trying to hurt each other because if you think about it, we all come from one, we're all brothers and sisters. So if I try and hurt you, all I'm doing is hurting myself. So this is not really a great strategy. So really, we need to start maybe just thinking a bit more about always being offended. Because there are millions of things to be offended by. Really, there are. But there are billions and billions and billions of things to be grateful for. I mean, think about this, so many things try to kill you could have gone wrong that you wouldn't be here today but you are so so many things went right for us that I can sit on this mountain top here at walk of fruit farms and be able to talk to you I'm 57 years old you know how many things could have gone wrong but so many things went right so let's take a page out of Carlos Castaneda's book and let's not be offended by everything Let's rather be in awe and gratitude that we get to play on this planet for a little while, be it eight years or 80 years.